I don't know, but you gotta hear this page for all um, food. You tell me about it. I've got it. <laughs> Raging. Raging. Endless. That out there. Total tear. Dude, it's one of the greatest displays of guitar in the history of rock and roll. I know. And out there. I didn't dose that night, but a lot of my friends were on acid that night. Oh, I was flipping. I was flipping on this. Yeah. I was out of control on that. <laughs> Dude, it was the insane, it was beyond words insane. Alright, stack that against Rob Trower at the coach house. Honestly? Yeah. Honestly? Rob? Here's what it is, I'll just tell you right now. Richie Blackmore put on the most insane guitar display that I probably will ever see. Warm rainbow. Mm -hmm. Pat Travers is back in the I doubt I've ever seen anything close to that. David Gilmore, 83, his solo tour down in Irvine and also in 87 with Pink Floyd, mm -hmm. is second. So you can imagine how hard they went off. And, uh, and Pink is third. And, uh, but, but really, it's hard to say. They're just, they all three, I caught them all three going off so fucking hard, man. But it's just my own personal style. Blackmore took the cake, Gilly second, Page third, Trout fourth, dude. Fucking, I would describe, like, Rob Trout as power. Just serious, like, one noting to the ground with the fucking jacket. Just hitting these gnarly, bending, twisting notes. Screaming wall off pedal. Just fucking blazing through your ears. Just feedback, just as searing your fucking mind, bro. I mean, dude, Trout is beyond words insane. Gilmore, dude, the only way I can describe Gilmore is this. Listen to Dog. Listen to the solo on Dog. You know the song? Yeah, fuck yeah. I, I'd imagine. Listen to that solo on Dog and times it by like 10 or 20. And turn up the volume by like 50. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. Tori hits that... You know that one part that I'm talking about? Yeah. That, dude, he was throwing that shit, man. Doing loop-de-loops, man. I'm mean, just solo that came out of nowhere you weren't even expecting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To where you're... Like, you'll be throwing these fucking loops and curveballs and screwballs. And you'll be expecting this sound and he'll come off with some totally off the wall. And fucking just... I mean, he was... He was bending those strings fucking... Ripping, just this slow, teeth grinding, fucking face, fucking. And his face was like so intense. I mean, his, he, dude, his foot, dude. I don't know if he moved his feet once, bro. I mean, to tell you the truth, I honestly he did. But he just stood there. The look on his face, he was just, bro, just, oh, dude. Fuck, man, I'll never forget, 83 on front row, literally front row, his rhythm guitarist with Mick Rouse, his fucking Mock Lupo and Bad Company. Yeah. They fucking stared, they faced each other off, you trading off solo. And this wasn't, this was, this was at lift, this wasn't staged, I know, because I was tripping on acid, and I said it, I was there. Mick Rouse takes off his guitar, dude. And keep in mind, this is Mick Rouse, he's a legend in his own right, dude. Fucking Mock Lupo and Bad Company, I mean, there you have it. I know. He fucking takes off his guitar, dude, lays it down in front of David Gilmore, bro, fucking bows, shakes his hand, shakes his head simultaneously, mumbling to himself, oh my god, turns around and walks off the stage. David Gilmore turns up because David just blew him away to where it was like, oh my god, I, I cannot play another note, is exactly what Nick Ralph was thinking, that's exactly the respect he paid. I cannot pick up my guitar again. He fucking laid down his guitar, shook his head, shook Gilly's hand, turned around, walked off the stage, just like blown away, just like everyone in the whole fucking place was blown away. His own musicians were blown away, dude. Gilmore turned around, dude, came to the edge of the stage, dude, bolted out the insane fucking, it sounded like a helicopter was landing. I don't know how he got that fucking sound effect, dude. I mean, I know he's got some gimmicks and shit, but this stuff came out of left field, bro. I don't know where this shit came from. I thought I thought fucking helicopter was landing on my head. Fucking boom, 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 bo
mirror reflects below his pick, below his fucking, uh, 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 right below his bottom string, bro. He has these little mirror reflectors. And fucking, then the lasers synonymous with the fucking helicopter sound were machine gunning off of his fucking mirror on his guitar. <laughs> And how fast we were going, and how fast and you were tripping on acid, fuck. Dude, I was f not tripping. I was flipping on acid. And the and and the machine, it was, and there were two, there were two lasers coming from either side that were connected to the same spot on the guitar, and they were both machine guns with little spaces in between. And and the exact speed of the sound of the helicopter was exactly how fast the the, 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 the machine was fireable. The lasers were shooting. Yeah. And then it got faster and faster. And this fucking machine goes, and then he just broke out, cranked on the wall, wall. Just fucking, oh my god, I lost it. I, I lost it. Then I saw him in 87 with Floyd. Huh. Sorry. Huh. Gillies. Dude. And then I told you about Blackmore, bro. Blackmore fucking in 1980, 13 years ago. Smoked, just blazed beyond words, bro. He had, he was possessed. It, that was not a human being I saw that night. Oh my god, I can imagine. Seriously. Hey, Darren, yeah. Fuck, I gotta go to practice. Dude, right on, bro. I'll call you later. Okay, bye.